Hello everyone, I am Bob and this is the Home Bitcoin Immersion Mining Channel. In this build series episode, I'm going to cover the latest updates to my dry cooler and how I made it ultra quiet. And I'm also going to show you some noise measurements comparing it with the DCX ICP15 dry cooler. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so to bring you up to speed, I've built my own dry cooler from my home Bitcoin immersion mining system. My goal was to make my dry cooler as quiet as possible because I have great neighbors living next door and I don't want my Bitcoin mining to become a problem. My dry cooler consists of two 24 inch radiators piped in series. I positioned them horizontally to take advantage of natural convection and I used a single automotive fan to provide enough airflow to dissipate the heat from my two miner setup. Now, when I bought this fan, I picked it out from five different manufacturers, selecting the quietest model, and I thought this was going to be quiet enough. I installed it, turned on my mining system, and although it did a great job of cooling my miners and was quiet enough that I didn't hear it when I had my doors and windows closed, when I went outside, this is what I got. Yeah, it was super annoying. Even though it was only about 63 decibels at four feet, it sounded like a drone flying around my house. I could hear it anytime I was outside and both me and my neighbors agreed I needed to fix this. So what could I do? Well, my first thought was that this particular fan can operate as either a pulling or pushing fan. So I can reverse the fan direction which results in the fan blowing down through my radiator. Now, this messes up my natural convection design, but... As you can hear, this adds a lot of air noise below the radiator, which somewhat masks that annoying fan noise but the fan is still too loud. So my next idea was to slow the fan down. And this is where these automotive fans are really great. You can get a variable DC power supply and just run the fan at lower voltage, which slows it down. And the one thing I learned is that these fans generate most of their noise at their top speeds. So if you slow these fans down just a little, they get a lot quieter. So I turned the voltage down to about 10 volts and which is a lot quieter and honestly this was good enough uh, both me and my neighbor were fine with this level of noise and it no longer sounded like a drone flying above my house but I wanted to see just how quiet I could get, so I turned the fan off. Now, although this is the ultimate silent operation, it's not enough to cool my mining setup running at full power. I found with my two 24 inch radiators, this setup only had enough cooling capacity to cool one of my S19 miners running in low power mode. Now in low power mode, my miner uses about 2200 watts, which is about two thirds of its full power of about 3400 watts. So although I haven't tried it, it makes sense that I might be able to cool a single S19 miner with three 24 inch radiators in a horizontal configuration without a fan. This would be the ultimate design for a silent dry cooler. But with my existing setup using two radiators and two miners, I wanted to see if I could get my setup even quieter. So I added a second fan. Now this might seem a little counterintuitive, but I added this fan to my first radiator, which has the hottest fluid. A small amount of airflow here will really help in increasing my cooling capacity. 
I also returned the fan direction back to pulling air up through the radiator, aiding in natural convection and reducing the air noise below my radiators. And because I now have two fans blowing air through both radiators, I can run both fans at super low voltage and super low speeds. And so running both fans at six and a half volts, here's how it turned out. The sound level at four feet away is only 43 decibels, which is quieter than the average conversation between two people. My dry cooler is so quiet that as soon as I walk around the corner, I can't hear it at all. Now, an interesting question to ask is how does this compare with a commercially available dry cooler like the DCX ICP15? Well, here's the ICP15 running at its lowest speed in my basement. This is the lowest speed the fan operates at, and as you can hear, the fan operates at low cooling levels by pulsing power to the motor. The sound level at this lowest speed is about 55 decibels, which is in the middle of my different fan configurations I tried with my custom dry cooler. Cranking up the DCX ICP15 dry cooler to its maximum cooling capacity and maximum fan speed, here's what you get. As you can hear, the fan is considerably louder. Uh, my cell phone noise meter averaged around 66 decibels. And by comparison, most home air conditioner compressor units will be around 60 decibels, so this really isn't that bad. Also, to be very fair, I'm running the DCX ICP15 dry cooler in my basement, surrounded by four walls and a ceiling. This is bouncing around a lot of the noise, and so my measurements here are really artificially high. If I ran the DCX dry cooler outside and 10 feet up off the ground in the same place as my custom dry cooler, I would expect the noise levels to be a lot lower, possibly even lower than my quietest 43 decibel design. And I think this is another sign that the guys at DCX really know what they're doing and have built a great product in the DCX BitPod system. Okay, so that's all I have for this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna complete my video series covering home heating, focusing on integrating home heating with your home thermostat. Like and subscribe so you won't miss any new episodes coming your way. So with that, bye.